I will give it a try, friend. We'll play with it. If we win with it, we'll keep playing with it, okay? If we win with it, we'll keep playing with it. I guess I also wasn't 100% sure it was a Great League team, but I I can't I can't run it in Ultra League, unfortunately. So. All right. You ready? Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. We're back at it. Using uh, Borno's team here, and then we'll uh, play around a little bit with another another viewer suggested team after this. So, all right, Huey, good luck, friend. What's Huey got for us? We've got in the lead a Greedent into a Lucario. That's um a little bit sus. Okay. Into Komoo. All right. I spotted him a dragon uh, tail there, which I don't love. But maybe they won't expect the ice beam. Maybe they won't expect the ice beam. They do. Of course, they. everyone always expects the ice beam. They've got dragon claw, right? Yeah, they do. So, unfortunately, they'll get both of them. Oh, okay. All right, all right. So they're going to go probably the two shield and have all the energy, I guess, is their thought process here. Okay. So, so far, they're multiple. They've got multiple fighters on their team, right? Oh, bummer. So I really wanted it probably needed to catch a close combat here, but instead I'm going to let them get way too much value out of all of these uh, dragon claws. They have like, I have at least three. So unfortunately that maneuver was probably in many ways, my win condition and it did not pan out for us. And now we'll lose our one Lucario counter and we're just going to lose the game. Um, so that's a little on me. I don't know what their remaining Pokemon is. Oh, they're fucking they're running triple fighter Lucario Kamoo Hakamo. <laughs> so uh that's certainly not expected. <laughs> I respect it too, but obviously having nowhere to go with Greedent is pretty bad. Right? We have just nowhere to go with Greedent. At all. Right? Like, I literally cannot kill this thing, so I'm not going to bother throwing a charge move. Well, unfortunately, we found the hard counter for your team, Teleborno. The hard counter for your team is triple fighter. <laughs> With two of them being dragons. Um, sorry, bud. We tried. We tried. <laughs> Appreciate the redemption. Sorry we got uh, smothered. We got smothered. Um, all right. Uh, Dugong. Yeah, it's not the lead we're looking for. But our team's not very good into Dugong either. Like, just in general, uh, I don't have a particularly good Dugong matchup anywhere on this team. I've got a lot of, like, acceptable Dugong matchups, right? So the question is, do we, do we pivot? Probably not. Yeah, like, the thought here is that maybe, uh... Like, we're going to be able to, uh... We're going to be able to kind of, like, soft tie this thing, I think. So, I think we're just kind of in a position where, like... I think the uh, downside here is that uh, they might be able to set up a scenario... Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's not good. Where they don't have to shield. Like they can just not shield and then Icy win something. Like, so this is this is really mapped out in the worst possible way for us. 
I need them not to get an icy wind here. Okay, good. Them not getting an icy wind there gives us some hope that maybe our back line is just really good into what they're doing, right? So whatever it was, didn't want to see Mantine. So I'm hoping that Gligar is fine. Right? So far, it's uh, it's a pair of Icy Winders. So there could be another Icy Winder in the back, right? Could be like a Polyrath. It could be like a Polyrath or something. Show me. But yeah, if they're protecting a fighter, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape here. Okay, that goes down and nah, they're protecting a Whiskash. So that's not ideal, right? It's not ideal. Now, of course, they get the attack drop, right? You know, because that's how that's always how this works, right? They're always going to get the attack drop. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, that did that did that did jack shit. That's not good. I don't need to call the bait. <laughs> if I call the bait, we lose, <laughs> I think. Let's clear that debuff. So they're gonna have to be able to uh, pick up two scalds here, or at least two moves here before uh, it's all said and done. It's possible. Especially if a mud bomb does kill me here. I think they've, I think they've pretty much got it in the bag. It does, and then they need a scald here. Although scald might come up a little short. They also probably lost CMP there, so we're good. A little tight, a little tighter than I want it to be, but. It's still a win. <laughs> it's still a win. I just figured they weren't going to bait just on the, the fact that like. Baiting's how you lose, right? Baiting's how you lose. It's also maybe how they win, but. <laughs> All right, Bretsky, what you got? What you got? We got a Wish Cash and a Gligar. Hey, look, this matchup again. I think because of the power of the debuff, I just don't think most Wish Caches are baiting very frequently. The debuff makes a very, very, of course, we don't get it, makes a big difference on the, uh, on the output right now oh, they went for the dig 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 slaps dig slaps opponent you still with me opponent uh oh uh oh my opponent was so shocked they landed a dig that uh i think they might have i think they might have there we go there we go. Let's catch this. Preserve that wish cash a little bit just in case it's got value in the back. No. <laughs> All right. Well, that's uh that's pretty bad. So the wish cash does have some value. Downside. Uh this is this is what punishment looks like, right? They'll just full farm me. I can't really do much about this. Um, so what do we want to do? I think we still got we still got play here. Let's make we're gonna force them to use their energy here. Right.
And then hopefully we can find a way to turn flip this into a win. It's still ugly, right? And we don't know what their last Pokemon is. So our determination on a bait here is pretty hard to make on our end, right? Okay. Shucks. I'll keep a shield for now. One surf is not going to do me in. Now the question is, do they try and catch? I, like I'm, I'm, I'm not going to throw on schedule here because I think a catch is pretty reasonable for them. Yep, there we go. Okay. Now what? Well. I'm definitely, I definitely have regerts, right? I definitely have some regerts. Most notably, uh, we should have just let that first matchup go the way it was going to go because our back line was really good into theirs. Yeah, I got fancy there. I got fancy there and it cost us the game. Although I guess, uh, no, because if we did that, they put the lantern on the man team and then I think we're fucked. So maybe not. Maybe that doesn't matter. Unfortunately, that Lantine, uh, the Lan yeah, what's called the Lantine matchup is so bad that it flipped a game that we probably should have won into one that we definitely couldn't win. Maybe stealthy. It's possible. They had multiple, uh, they would have had multiple, uh, surfs though. So we would have had to two shield both of them, right? We would have had to two shield that shit. So I don't, I don't know that that would have necessarily done the job for us. But it certainly was certainly would have been an option. Can I just throw something on schedule here, maybe. Perfect. That's why I was kind of hoping that I could maybe flip that, but I I I just had so much energy, and I just wasn't going to be able to turn. I wasn't going to be able to turn that scenario from where it was to where I wanted it to be. I just, I don't think that was going to work out for us. So we'll pivot out of that and we'll see if maybe, ah, okay. Well, the good news is I didn't pivot into the man team this time. So we have at least a chance, but it's still pretty ugly right it's still pretty ugly the uh the uh variety of backline wow they didn't shield that wild Backline lanterns has been pretty bad. Now the good news is hopefully this means our mantine is free to do its thing, right? Hopefully it means it's free to do its thing. Into Gligar, you say. Alright. Yeah, I like this matchup. This match is pretty good for us. And I have to look out for a catch. Like that. <laughs> ah, I see. You already got energy. Um, I believe we should be safe to get two, uh, two ice beams here before they uh, kill us. But I guess if we see impede there and this next aerial ace kills us, we're just going to lose. And that's just me not really paying close attention to uh, my opponent's energy. Nah, we're good. We're good. Pretty sure. Good night, sweet prince. All right. All right. Okay. Some lessons learned. Don't safe swap Mantine. 
Mantine is a bad safe swamp. <laughs> there's there's lots of lots of lanterns. There's lots of lanterns. Um, so don't do that. And we have a chance at uh, we have a chance at salvaging this set that started with a really 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 bad, really really bad uh, match uh, set. So our uh, game, I guess. All right, let's see if we can salvage. We got a wish cash and a man teen. That is very bad. <laughs> That's very bad. All right. So what do we do? Obviously, it's not a matchup we're going to win, but maybe we can. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we can get a debuff and just play it tight. Of course, we don't get a debuff. We never get a debuff. Um, I can also pivot or safe swap into like one of our own mons, but like I just don't know that any of them are very good into this matchup either. So if we can just sort of convince them to let this go down like somewhat fairly, but I think we're going to end up in a scenario where like we just get bodied here, right? I don't think we're going to find ourselves in a happy place where a farm down is reasonable. Okay. Attack drop. So we got the attack drop and they're throwing a move here, which is pretty good for us. Even if it is ice beam, like I can live with this. Also seems to suggest to me that they don't have a good Mantine counter. Because obviously they would be switching if they did right they'd be switching if they did right hey okay. oh oh no ggs <laughs> my opponent got a little greedy with that one Oopsies. We'll take our winning set. <laughs> hey, look, another Gligar reward. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. I mean, I think they maybe thought that I would bait there. Maybe they thought I would bait. <sighs> the problem you have to keep in mind, though, like, okay, so let's say, let's say we're, we're thinking that through. You don't necessarily know anything about my team, right? Yeah, I think we we're going to win that game either way. But um, so like for me to make a determination about baiting there, you have to know for a fact that my last Pokemon can't handle or would have trouble handling that, right? You'd have to know because otherwise, like I'm just going to throw the, the deadly move at you a couple times at least once, maybe twice. And uh, if you shield, great. My other Pokemon comes in and tries to win. Maybe they were thinking that, like, in those scenarios, the Polyrath is then safe. But 